Hey gang, Poppy here. Here are some hints for surviving the power outages you're going to be going through. Adjust your shopping. Uh, limit, if not eliminate, the, the stuff you put in the freezer. Yeah, I know, you won't be able to jump on them sales and buy a whole half a cow, but then you won't have a whole half a cow rotting because you lost electricity for a week and a half. Fancy meals? Hot food. Hey, that's great. It makes the food taste better and it puts some warmth in you, but if it gets down to it, you open a can of whatever it is completely cooked and very clean because it's sterile. But, you know, barbecue. All right? You'll have to depend on that a lot. The stuff that will go bad, the first, the quickest, use it up right away. Yeah. Eat it before it rots. Adjust your shopping uh, patterns. Buy stuff that won't rot. If you have to buy stuff that will rot, just buy just enough to get you till you know, through the week or the, the couple of days. You look outside and you see the trees going like this. Go get canned goods. <laughs> Propane. <laughs> Batteries. Ah. Uh, Cleanliness is nearly impossible when the electricity is out and you can't make hot water. Use paper plates. You can throw them away. If you can't use plastic cutlery, Diary of Anne Frank, your knife, fork, and spoon. That way, you don't at least at least you don't be spreading germs amongst each other. You've got your knife, fork, and spoon ready for when you open a can of ravioli or chili or whatever. Generators are nice, but have you considered the cost of them? Eight hours on four gallons at quarter power. Two hours on four gallons at full power. And don't tell me that a freezer won't take full power. So you're going to need a great big gasoline storage tank in your backyard. In fire country. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Probably your propane fuel generators. And in this area, if you want something gas, you either got to have propane or go get a butane bottle or call the welding supply. Almost broke out my big rosebud to cook with two nights ago. Yeah. So, 
then there is togetherness and leave them alone. I mean, it's great with the togetherness. You got like a great big living room and you got the fireplace or that big wood stove and a lot of couches. Everyone can get comfortable, bundle up and keep warm. That's great. But what if Uncle Harry just do not want anyone around him? He is totally miserable. He hates everyone he sees. Well, let him go off into his room. And remember this. Everybody's temper is going to be right on the edge. They all know that they married our king. Well, during the blackout, you'll all find out that you married their queen. <laughs> yeah. We're all that thing, and they're all that other thing. They married our king, and we married their queen. We all we all know we married their queen. It's great having like 23 subscribers. <laughs> I can say all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to get any messages. <laughs> anyway, uh, keeping warm, uh, make coffee, cocoa, tea, whatever, you know. If you got Mr. Heater, you know, you can put it on its side and cook, boil water. Uh, put Mr. Heater on its side and you can keep the house warm and cook. Or boil water at the same time. Yeah. And remember, find a lawyer, ask him will he sue PG&E for you. Because I'm going to look into finding one to sue them for me. Good night.